Well, I think we're actually here at the start of, of this journey. Um, you know, for us, this is mobile computing. Um, and this is something that's beyond just the smartphone industry today. You know, you're right that there's a lot of smartphones out there. Um, our focus has been more than just delivering a smartphone experience. It's really bringing mobile computing into the palm of your hands. And, and we've, we've taken our time to build the very best experience. Um, we're using technology from so many different sources from around the world. Um, and you know, we're, we're launching this year because now we believe is the right time for mobile computing to, to be in the mobile form. The interesting things is we're already noticing more and more people dependent on their phone as opposed to their laptop. We're already seeing them take now just a tablet and a smartphone. So I think in terms of the reality of timing, it's, it's not actually you know, a decade away. We're talking two to three years when the processing power of, of these types of products are going to be where your laptop is now. Um, and at that point, it's about delivering the right experience. So whether it's uh, document editing capabilities, whether it's great cloud file storage, um, great messaging capabilities, um, instant messaging capabilities like BBM, um, or even social networking like Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, those things are going to have to be the very best experiences on mobile. Um, and that's really what we're delivering today. Right? So we're, we're building the foundations. We know that mobile computing is going to be over the next few years, but if you don't build the foundations right, uh, it's just going to take you that much longer to be able to innovate in that space. Uh, so really exciting time for us to, to lay that base down now. I think this year is really the debut of our platform. Um, we obviously want to put a number of different products out. Um, the Z10, we've obviously announced the Q10 as well. Um, and we're really looking to continue the, that portfolio. Um, beyond that, uh, again, you know, it's not something that I, I can comment uh, right at this point. Um, but you know, we're excited to, to continue to innovate, um, not through just hardware, but software as well. So throughout this year, you're going to see some really exciting experiences um, take form and, and shape on, on these products. Sure. So, you know, I think first off, uh, we're not a hardware manufacturer and I, you know, and I don't think we've ever positioned ourselves that way. Uh, we deliver an end-to-end -end solution. So it's a combination of hardware, software, and services. Um, and that sets us apart. That's what makes us unique from many other vendors out there who are competing, let's face it, just on specs and pricing. Um, at that point, you know, our focus is our audience. So we may not be the most aggressive or the, the entry-level player when it comes to pricing. But at that same time, our experience we're delivering to customers is beyond what else is out there. And, and that's really going to be our focus. So, you know, I can't sit here and tell you today that we're going to have high-end, mid-end, low-end phones. But the point is that we will make sure we deliver the right experiences, again, for BlackBerry people. Um, and that's really important for us. I mean, I think what you'll see is we're going to bring BlackBerry 10 experience to, to other form factors and, and to different pricing. But reality is, uh, we are still, you know, a, a premium and aspirational brand. We have experiences and services that other competitors don't deliver. Um, and so for that, we're always going to still look to position ourselves, you know, slightly higher in the market. So I think what's really interesting, you know, starting off with the enterprise first, um, again, with Bez 10, we're still going to deliver the compression, the, the security, the reliability, the application, the management that, that people have come to expect and love from us. So that'll still continue. Um, and, you know, we, we are already trialing Bez 10 with many companies in the US, um, and it's, it's going very well in terms of, of, of those pilots. Um, now, when we look at the consumer side, it's really because the industry itself and behavior has changed. Uh, if you look at what we designed many years ago, our focus was on compression because radio networks from our carriers had very small bandwidth. We're now in the era of 4G. You know, even here in India, carriers are aggressively looking to roll out 4G across the entire market. Um, now, with that type of bandwidth, compression becomes a very different type of discussion because at that point, it's really actually about speed. You want a high quality image or a high quality website, um, really fast uh, application processing. Um, and at that point, if you begin to apply compression, the experience is compromised. Um, so I think we're now at a point where we can evolve our architecture, we can modernize it, so have better support for Exchange Active Sync, um, work better with our partners like Hotmail, Gmail, Yahoo, um, and actually provide a better messaging experience. 
but still in line with what the, the industry expects when you do have 4G out there. And, and of course, with BlackBerry 10, everything is 4, 4G ready. You know, text messaging as an example, when you select that icon, you're actually being taken into the BlackBerry hub. Um, so there's a text messaging filter and, and view inside the hub. Um, to give you an example about your saving a, a draft email, when you hit cancel, it gives you an option to either discard or save. Um, again, and that, uh, that's actually standard practice on any type of uh, computing product, where when you cancel, before you, you can, as you hit that cancel, it gives you an option to save. Um, so those features are there, and actually a few of the others you've listed, including notes and tasks, they're actually combined in a new application called BlackBerry Remember, which is a, a fantastic application. It's, it's now bringing notes, tasks, all from your Outlook, from personal on device, as well as Evernote integration into a single application. Um, so you're not actually losing anything in your backup. They're just being placed in very different areas. Now, to come to your point around settings and simplifying the experience, that was also something that from research and usability and, and market feedback was something we wanted to address. You know, we had got to a point on our current platform with, with BlackBerry 7 where things had become very complicated. Users were telling us that there are far too many options and it's taking them a long time to set up the device. So with BlackBerry 10, we wanted to make sure the user experience was easy, fast, fluid, so that nothing stood in their way. Um, now, again, with any new market and, and new platform launch, uh, there are always you know, some, some market issues and, and feedback that comes in. Um, and we're continuing to, to get that feedback, which is great. You know, everyone I speak to um, has so many positive things to say. And then we'll say, hey, but you know what? If you made this slight change, I'd love it even more. And that's, that's a good position to be in because that means they actually have adopted the platform. They're excited about it and they want to see us do better. Um, so we're only going to take that back in and continue to, to evolve the software experience. Throughout this year, we're going to continue to enhance the features. So, you know, market feedback comes in. We obviously do our own usability, our own research. Um, and, you know, the great thing is even updating the software on these products is really easy, right? It's over the air, simple, um, you know, single reboot. Um, and, you know, it, it actually is very effective. So, again, we, we've got now a great channel to reach our users. Um, to keep them updated through our social media channels uh, and make them aware of when there is a new software update, what are the, the new and enhanced features. So you're going to continue to see that, that improvement throughout this year. We still work very closely with our carrier partners. You know, again, part of the, the software experience is, is also radio as well and, and making sure that carrier applications and services are, are functioning as they should be. Um, so again, it is a, it's always a, a joint process. And I think we're certainly making the process easier. You know, we're still working with our carriers and validating the updates, but it certainly is, is more timely, more prompt, and, and is, is more effective. I think we've got an exciting opportunity ahead of us. Um, you know, we've talked very passionately about mobile computing, but you know, where we see um, a great opportunity is also other verticals. You know, today we're in the enterprise, we're in the consumer space. Um, we have great services like BBM. You know, we have Bears, but imagine the opportunities in other vertical industries like the automotive. Um, you know, we've already shown off, as I'm sure you're aware, a number of uh, Cunix concept and, and car two uh, applications. Um, and again, that's a, an exciting industry, and you can't get more mobile than a car. Um, you know, look at healthcare, financial. Those are all, uh, I'd say, verticals that are, are screaming out for mobile computing. But, you know, they're looking for solutions to address the, the issues that they have, whether it be communications, whether it be, you know, just general applications. Um, and, and for us, we're, we're actually really excited now that we've got a platform that we can take to them and say, hey, this is credible. It's already inside your industry. Now let's build on it. Um, so that's a real exciting opportunity. And, and I think for the first time, it takes BlackBerry uh, into, a, into a whole other level. Right? It, it actually elevates us out of the smartphone industry and allows us to be a much broader organization. Like any market, we work very closely with the governments and, and we make sure we can comply um, you know, where possible. So again, each market is different. Um, you know, there, are, there are always requirements that, that may limit or extend certain functionality. And, and you know, we're going to build a device accordingly. So 
you know, whilst there's certain experiences that, uh, that, that may not make uh, or may not be available in this market, there is still a huge catalog of applications, services, um, and great experiences for, for, the, for the Indian market. Thank you.